a ghost language translator. Seriously. That was that one thing is something out of com completely out of left field. And two, I think the developers were just were, were pretty much messing with the players at this point. Like, they were like, yeah, let's let's joke around with them. I don't know. Anyway, that's how you get to the next part, which actually leads to a boss fight. And I did leave in the first take boss fight, and I removed all the other takes, which was like three or four of them. I can't remember exactly how many times I died to him, died to this boss, but yeah, he's actually pretty rough. So the first thing against this undead wizard is I thought the floor was novel. I mean, the reason why is because I look at it and for the platforms raise up. It's like the platforms raise up, so it's like, okay, so I guess the floor is novel, and I have a dragon in the fight. So it makes sense. The other thing that made this boss fight hard is that it's essentially Castlevania's. It's essentially Castlevania's Grim Reaper. <laughs> or, well. Castlevania's death. With the whole sights always flying around and trying to hit you thing. And then you have to deal with everything else as well. Like, you're shooting demons and night at you. And the only thing you've got that can actually like, deal with this guy and like, the Geo and his lightning. But even that kind of got weird. Because, like, there was actually one take where. Heavy here, like, wait, our little fine friend here, like, just disappeared. I was like, wait, what the heck happened to him? Like, where'd he go? But yeah, you're basically just supposed to, like, shoot him and then just go to town on him.
Uh, so that's done. Finally, it, I can't. I would have to go back and actually count how many attempts it, it took me to get. But we're pretty much done with this area. <laughs> and now we just have to get the treasure that Mr. Hoot left behind. Which. You kind of just. Like, after you see it, you kind of just go. Huh. Really? Anyway, our little friendly, our little friend that shoots beams and light beams, we just left to figure out how to find the treasure that's missing. It took me a little bit to figure it out, but then I was like, oh, that's it. So I am sparing you guys a 20, 30 minutes of me searching for how to get to how to find certain treasures because I still don't know how to get to certain treasure chests at this point. And I was getting a little frustrated. So I just went like, you know what? Screw this. Let's go. I'm just going to continue on with the story. And also, I have some cash, so I might as well go out and figure... Might as well go out and figure out, like, how do I find this? How do I, like, where the other treasures are in this game? And because I pretty much have access to every single area at this point, except for, like, the final, final area. So, I think all the treasures should be revealed to me at this point. Although, at that time, I found out that not all of them are exactly revealed by the way. Anyway, it's gonna do, do a little shopping and then a bit more story.
So, um, yeah, we, we, our, our Al Fringe treasure was a fortune cookie with a fortune on it. It's kind of an ironic fortune considering what happens in this game, but still, out of all the things that he tells, like, out of all the things he tells us, like, this is what we went to all this trouble for was a fortune cookie. Anyway, at this point, he tells us that, okay, you need to go. As, like, before we go on to, like, pretty much end game territory, we need to find these three legendary artifacts in order to, like, proceed on with the game. I honestly thought that these legendary artifacts would be like optional, but they're not. And in and in actuality, you have to go hunting around for these legendary artifacts, which one of them we already know the location of. The other two, not so much, but we did pass them on the way. So that pretty much will end this video. It's a short video because I had because I pretty much cut out a lot of wandering around trying to figure out how to open how to get the certain chest and I couldn't get to them so I cut all that out save you guys some time I am Brad Reed Gaming World I will say, see you guys in the next video where we will do a lot of treasure hunting and I mean a 